Yo, what is up everyone? My name is Wade. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, smash that subscribe button and let's get right into it. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you the three best tips to buying cryptocurrencies. So first things first, we need to understand market capitalization. Why? Because market capitalization equals price. So if we look at Bitcoin, we'll see it as a max supply that there are only 21 million Bitcoins in the world. And when we look at the market cap, the market cap is 722 billion. That's how much money people have invested into Bitcoin specifically to this day. And that, along with the scarcity, gives us a price of $38,483. So for us to understand where we want to put our money in a place that it's going to maybe 10x, 15x, 20x, 100x, you have to look at market cap, circulating supply, equals price keep that in mind because for bitcoin to double its price or for you to double your money that you invested in your in bitcoin bitcoin would have to reach 1.4 trillion dollars which i think it has at one point when it was around 63,000 or close to it so you can definitely do that but when we look at other coins we might find smaller coins with a bigger circulating supply like cardano 45 billion tokens in existence but a 44 billion market cap with a 1.3 dollar price so you can look at that and say well i could see cardano doing 150 billion maybe in the current growth rate it's one of the most reputable tokens on the market that could easily 2x 3x whereas bitcoin would only 1x your money so that's the way we look at it but keep in mind there are many other variables at play it's not just as simple as market cap supply equals price because you will find things that look too good to be true and trust me if it is if it looks too good to be true it probably is next step utility and use case so this is very important for me this is a software use so remember cryptocurrency or blockchain technology is very early in the current real world so when we look at cryptocurrency we must look at application of those coins or the software behind it so when we look at a cryptocurrency we must see application for that software how will it be used can people adopt it can amazon use it can google use it can youtube use it you know can ford use it? tesla who not just the token itself the actual software and that can really substantiate our choices and validate why someone would want to invest in it so something like xrp for example xrp is made by ripple labs they are a banking software company so they've been in the business for a long time and what the xrp token does what it offers is bank payments between countries so settlement payments, remittance systems, those kind of things, large scale payments between banks, whereas companies use the countries use the dollar to trade between each other, even though they aren't American, it's just a general fee. So Ripple would then replace it. You understand what I'm saying? So it's a general general fee, it's much faster, it costs less, it's, it's just a tons and tons and tons and tons of positives using XRP. I'm definitely going to do a video on it. I am heavily invested in XRP. I suggest you check it out too. I will drop a video, excuse me, exclusively on XRP, so don't worry about that. XRP is definitely a great use case, a great cryptocurrency, and one for the future, 100%. We look at the market cap again, 33 billion. That this coin has been close to $3 or above $3, if I'm not mistaken. So, definitely something else you need to look at. You could 5x your money, you could 10x your money, and the potential for XRP is very, very, very high within the medium to long term range. Moving on, point number three, ownership. The most important part for me is ownership. So we looked at Cardano and we'd have to look at who runs Cardano. So Charles Hoskinson. Charles Hoskinson is the founder of Cardano and co-founder of Ethereum, which are both blockchain platforms. So that makes you gives you some sort of surety that this guy has worked within the blockchain community before. He understands what he's doing, he knows where he's going, and there are tons and tons of videos of Charles Hoskinson when he started ethereum to when he started cardano and his transition through the projects from then so uh that's definitely a important factor for me definitely one of the most important factors for me is leadership because people put people reputable people are putting their 
careers and their names on the line when they sign up to these blockchains, when they sign up to these blockchain cryptocurrency and all these different software companies. Uh, and if there are reputable people who are known in the industry, it might not be specifically about blockchain, but it can be within, let's say, XRP within the banking system. You understand? So within the banking system, for example, v VChain was started by the X. CLO or CTO of Louis Vuitton. So therefore that's reputable. That person's put their name on the line. That's somebody that you can trust, you know, because common theme in cryptocurrency at the moment is scams and rug pulls where people, no name brand people show up, create a coin, get a whole bunch of hype around it, get people to invest in it and then disappear with their money. So there, therefore, you must keep in mind these three points, market capitalization, utility and use case of the currency or software, as well as ownership and leadership behind the project. Those are my three top tier gold standard pointers that you need to use when choosing a cryptocurrency. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.